all can be traded My heart's a bit spaded I'm not too prideful to up and leave You been all complacent The ties have been changing Love is just patience and for you What's up bookish babes? Welcome or welcome back to another video. In today's video, I figured I would give you guys kind of an updated bookshelf tour. Mainly because I got more books and if you've been watching my book haul, then you have seen those books. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys, you know, the shelf. Although I need to purchase another shelf and I'm going to eventually get around to doing that, but... You know, not too much on me right now. Um, I do have three big bookshelves, a small cubby shelf, and I also used my TV stand shelves for um books or whatever. And then I have my TBR cart. Now I am gonna be behind the camera, so this will be your last time seeing me until the end of the video. But I will just be showing you guys the books and. You know what where they're placed and all that stuff so that's all i want to do i want to hop on and say hi and show with you guys this updated bookshelf tour now the last bookshelf tour i had it in a physical room in my house but my sister then moved back in with me and she got their room so i moved it up front so that's what it, that's where it is right now and when I move next year, it will go back into its own separate room. So, yeah. Let me stop rambling and show you guys these shelves and the books that's on the shelves. So, we're going to start right here at the TBR cart like we did last time. Or did we start? No, I think we started on the miniature book shelf. But we're going to start on the TBR cart this time and then work our way around. So, let me get you guys together and then we'll start there. All right, so way over here on the TBR card, these are five new books that I just recently purchased. I got this one today and those four to the top right there, I want to say yesterday. And I will, let me give you a little quick glimpse at them. Those are the five books that I purchased. Um, there will be an up and coming book call whenever I buy more books. But I do need to get another TBR shelf. I'm saying another bookshelf for sure. Now right here on this TBR card, as you can see, it is like my immediate focus of books I want to read. Not all of them because I don't think, I think it's like the third and fourth book in the series, but majority of them. Um, the first book we have is Dare Vicious Games. We have The Way I Am Now, Dangerous Gods, or Damaged Goods, I can't even read. Damaged Goods, Broken Nights. We have The Fake Mate. This is supposed to be like a paranormal romance i guess which is odd because they both by each other i think it's like a werewolf he's a werewolf they're both doctors i don't know but i do want to read it she wrote the nanny and i enjoyed the nanny so we're gonna read that we have bride by ellie hazelwood i heard a lot of mixed reviews on this but i still want to read it now this right here i'm kind of scared to read because a lot of people say it isn't what we thought it was it is only if i only i had told her it's the second book from, I forgot. <laughs> it's the lollipop book. Then we have, this is where it, this is where it ends. I read the synopsis on this when I was in Walmart and I felt like it was an interesting book to read and I got it because I want to read it. Then we have Ready or Not, Neighbor Wager, Credence. I heard a lot of things, mixed reviews about this book and I got it because I wanted to see. Nest of Can by Hannah. Boam Young. Y'all, I'm about to choke. Hold on. Okay, so Nessa Ken by Hannah Boam Young. She wrote, um, I Don't Know Lamb. A lot of people love that book, read that book. I haven't read it yet, so I got it. Then we have First Live Wins by Ashley Elson. A lot of people has been talking about this book, so I grabbed it because I wanted to see what it's about. We know I don't do um, fully, so we'll see. Then we have Priest wrote this vows. You again, Birthday Girl, Indigo Ridge, and Jupiter Hill. We have House of Ash and Shadows. I wrote Lee here. Lotus, The Catch by Amy Lee. It's a part of her influencer series. Then we have No Isses in The Teacher by Freedom and Fat. And that's why I need another bookshelf because I need my thrillers. 
on the shelf and I don't have that room for my thrillers, we'll get what we'll, I'll show you when I get up there. Let's get to the top. All right. So right here on this shelf, I used to have um the fourth wings on this first shelf, but I moved it and switched it out. So fourth ring is here now and Legendborn and Bloodmark is there. Right next to it is the Shatter Me series. I read everything except for Imagine Me. Then we have This Woven Kingdom, um, Kingdom of the Wicked, Kingdom of the Curse. I read those two. Haven't read Kingdom of the um, Fear yet. Right up under it, we have um, Binding 13, Keep It 13, Save It System. Like I showed you guys, Redeeming Sixes right here in this pile right there then we have twisted love twisted game twisted hates i read these three twisted hates i read these three i haven't read twisted lies yet right here we have the king of sin series now i do have two king of wrath because when i purchased this one i didn't know that it was making it with the color edges so i went back and purchased the red one and then the rest of them right next to that we have the fine print, terms of condition, final offer, and love redesign. I've read the, the um Dreamland Billionaire series. I haven't read this one yet. Now down to the next shelf, we have Ace of Spades and Honey and Spice. Absolutely adore those two books. Then we have The Gifted One. Haven't read it. Weather Girl. I think I tried to read that book like four times already and... I think I just gave up on it. We have Lover or Lever, The Dating Playbook, The Love Wager. Haven't read those. S's and O's have not read it. This is the second book in Amy Lee's Influencer series. So, yeah. Then we have The Seven Year Slip. I read that. Enjoyed that. I want that in the pink cover because I've seen Destiny Sit Well have it and I love it. Then we have Love Theoretically, The Bodyguard by Kate Center. Catherine Center. Why well, I call girl Kate? Then I have my semi-small, I think I have more um, Taylor Jenkins Reads books. And I think I, I think those are the only three um, Christian and Laura's books I have. But we have After I Do, Have Not Read It, The Soul Made of Poison, Didn't Read It, Love and Other Words, Read It, The Honey Don't List, Read It, The On Honeymooners, Read It, and... One True Love by Television Reads. I read that. Right down below that shelf, we have my um, Lucy Square stack, which is Rock Bottom Girls. I'm currently reading... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm currently reading um, By a Threat by her. So, yeah. We have Rock Bottom Girls, Forever and Ever. I think those are the only three. These right here, including Maggie Moving On, are only three books I haven't read. But I, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. But I have then, I'm saying then, Things We Never Got Over, Things We Hide From The Light, and Things We Left Behind. And like I said, we have Maggie Moves On. We have Mariana Zapata from Look Off With Love, Angry God, The Road Trip, It Happened One Summer. Hook, Line, and Sinker, Mariana Zapata book, um, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. We have Love Hypothesis, The Friend Zone, Wreck the Halls, The Wake Up Call, um, The Last Letter, Pucking Around, and Happy Stance on this shelf right here. And then right below it, we have Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow, we have the Atlases, Divine Rivals, Throne of the Fallen, House of Mariana, Assistant to the Villain, The No Show, Mary Jane's the Cemetery Boys, I think that's um, first down, A Thousand Boy Kisses. I have these special edition covers to Archer's Voice. I'm pretty sure you've seen it in the video I found for this video book. We have Trial of the Sun Queen, To Shape a Dragon. Forget Me Not, My Roommate Is a Vampire, All He'll Ever Be, Nine Lives, and 
Rhapsodies. I, I can't pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Then right here on this bottom shelf right here, we have Cassandra Claire books. And then I have like an overflow of um, my Sarah J. Mass, like the books I have doubled in. I have um, Cordis and Flame and House of Sky and Breath. Now, since we are down, we might well just go up <clears throat> right next to it. I absolutely love these covers. We have um, This Part of the Heart and This Wicked Faith. Right next to it is my pink set and an old camera that I used to have from when I was younger. <laughs> we have Secretly Yours. Pretty, rec pretty, pretty reckless. That's the first book in the All Saints series. The ones that I said, the pretty covers. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, The Grace Year. I have not read that yet. A lot of people talk, talk about this book and write about this book and say how they much they enjoyed this book. I have not read it yet. We have Float. We're going to very much be taking that to Florida with me when we go. Love on the Brain. The Summer of Broken Rule and Sun Kiss by Casey West. Right next to it is my Emily Henry books, Beach Read, Book Lovers, People We Meet on Vacation, Happy Place. Then we have Carly for Fortune, Every Summer After, and Meet Me at the Lake. Now, right up here, right above it, we have my Sarah J. Mass shelf, Throw on the Glass series, Akatar, Crescent Series series, the three books in Crescent Series, and... Well, down there, it's another copy of that. Because I think I told y'all I ended up buying two copies of this one. And I got two copies of that. And then I also have two copies of this. So, yeah. So, let's bring it on up. My old Canon camera that I didn't like. So, that's that on that. But we have um, the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. We have Throttle, Collided, Wrecked, and Redeemed. I read those two. Haven't read that one. That book might be in an up and coming video. Then we have Elsie Silver's book. What's this series called? Uh, Chestnut Springs. Chestnut Springs. We have Flawless, Heartless, Heartless Again, Powerless, Reckless, and Hopeless. Now, the reason why I have two, well, I actually have two, flaw I have two Flawless and two Heartless. The reason for that is because uh, Book Talk Babe sent me these books right here. And the ones from Bloom I bought myself. So, that's why. And next to it, we have the Natural Series. That That's just so pretty me. I'm absolutely obsessed with that. Cute. Beautiful. Let me bag up so you can get a full picture of that shelf. My stamp. Let's get a little full picture of the shelf that I showed you. And right above this shelf is this shelf. We have Fourth Wind, Iron Flame. I have the new covers in the last three books, and I'm going to show you why. I'm pretty sure you know why, but I'm going to show you why either way. I have the Some Kind of Perfect, Long Way, Long Way Down, Fear the Fire, Addicted, After All. These are in the old cover. So, Addicted, After All, Thrive, Addicted for Now, Ricochet, and Addicted to You. Right next to it, we have Magnolia Park series. Uh, Magnolia Park, Daisy Hay. I'm currently reading um, The Long Way Home by Magnolia. So, that's what goes there. Then we have Daisy Hay's Great Undoing. Then magnolia parks into the dark and then never by just a hasting so that is that show then we're gonna pivot this way and this is what we have over here we have amari and the knight brothers it's kind of tucked away because the shelf is kind of leaning in that direction but there it is. And then we have Amari and the Great Gang. Um, Wish of the Wicked. Then right here we have Done and Dusted, Swift and Saddled, Love Like Form, and In the Weed, um, Mid Signals. Then we have My Fault, Your Fault, Our Fault. Have not read those yet. A lot of people say that's a amazing movie and they enjoyed the books, but we're going to get to those. Then we have My Kennedy Ryan Babes. 
y'all i have real it's right here i need to put some curtains up so i don't mind that but we have when you are mine loving you always be mine forever then we have long shot hook shot block shot the king maker king maker rebel king before i let go and this could be us y'all i'm so happy i don't even i don't, did i show you i think i did show y'all i got this book in physical copy because duh but yeah then right up under it we have a few of my fantasy books i just stuck there there because why not um it's no rhyme or rhythm so me stacking these books on my shelf i just stack them high i think it's cute yeah but we have one dark window two twisted crowns the red queen series obsessed if you haven't read this series please do if you enjoy pilots by um lauren roberts you will most definitely enjoy the red queen series so yeah then right next to it we have cruel prince the wicked king the um the queen of nothing the stolen heir the prisoner throne the prisoners to throne sister crows Quicket kingdom the prison healer the gilded cage and then butchering the blackbird right under it it's kind of like my dark romance shelf you can say like I said, no rhyme or reason. We have the ritual, the sinner, the sacrifice, carnage. And then we have hunting and honey Adeline, her soul take, hooked. I still had not, I still have not gotten the rest of the series to hook, but I will be doing that. Then we have the brutal print series for the brutal air. I think it's the brutal air. Is it called the brutal air? The br br brutal birthright or something? Uh oh. Oh, well, we'll pick that up later. We have the Brutal Prince, Stolen Air, Savage Lover, Bloody Hearts, Broken Vows, Heavy Crowns. Then we have um, There Are No Saints, There Is No Devil. Then we have the last two in the Priest series, Saint and Sinner. So that is that shelf. Then right up under that shelf, we have um, Once Upon a Broken Heart, The Ballad of Never After, A Curse for True Love, and then The Purple Speck. That itself for the black book right here. I know my colors, I promise. We have Unfortunately Yours, a blood like fate, but like fate, blood like magic, but like fate. Maybe my meant to maybe meant to be y'all can read. And then we have What Happened After Midnight. Cinderella is dead. Briar Cliff Prep. Then we have Places We've Never Been. Right next to that is um Carval Trilogy, Carval Legendary for now. Then we go right down here to the bottom on the floor. <coughs> we have these hollow vows, these twisted bonds. I have the um, foul of fortune, the foul, foul heart huntsman. Then we have my second copy of Crescent City, House of Flame and Shadow. Then right here in this deck, we have when the moon hatched, Pilots by Lauren Roberts, Shadow and Bone. Siege, siege, siege in Storms, Ruins and Rising, and then King of Battle and Blood, Queens of Myth and Monster, A Touch of Darkness. Right next to that stack, the Inheritance Game series, Harris Games, The Hearthstone Legacy, The Final Gambit, and then we have The Brother Hearthstone, which I still have not read, which is crazy. Then we have my smaller bookshelf over here which is right there and you can see my cray series up here to the top serpent and dove blood and honey then we have finny finny dumbman is killing it today tomorrow tonight tomorrow spanish love deception the reunion worst best man Top 10, 99 Days, Pack Up the Moon, Funny You Should Ask, The Simple Wow, I love The Simple Wow, The Flat Share, then it's the double stack back there, y'all. So let's go ahead and point that out that it is double stack in the back. So right here in the front it is, I'll give you the sign, P.S. I Love You, The Ravens, Starry Eyes, 
Culty by Mariana Zapata. Red, white, red, white, and royal blue. We have as a Prosomy, Check and Made. Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I don't even know how they got over here because it's the whole Colleen Hoover shelf right there. But, um, Seven Days in June. And then this right here is why I end up purchasing the white co covers because I have, I do have them in the original covers, but I want them in the white. Then we have the Sunrise Current Pretty series. It's on the shelf now for some reason, but we'll fix it later. Then we have, um... One for the, my enemies by Olivia Blake. Olivia Blake. Olivia, how you say her name? Then right here we have Wait for It, Tweet Cute Icebreakers, um, Wildfire. I can't wait till Daydream come out. I just cannot wait. The Roughest Draft. I still haven't read it. The Dead Romantic. Um, the X Hex. Do you know? Do I know you? The Hating Game. Meet Cute Diaries and Love Radio. Right here is my kind of thriller shelf. The next two ones are my thriller shelves. So these are, let me get over there. All the thrillers that I own, y'all about to fall. So we have the Paris Apartment, the House Across the Lake, The Only One Left, None of This Is True. We have Verity by Colleen Hoover. We have The Housemaid, The Housemaid Secrets, Coworker. The locked door, um, the guest list. Then right here we have uh, rock paper scissors, the perfect marriage, flick in the dark, all the missing girls. Then she's gone. Then she was gone. This book is, yeah, yeah. This the silent patience, the secret next door, bunny. Then we have Layla by Colleen Hoover, Verity, lock every door. So. That is my thriller shelf. So if you know me, you know that I don't read thrillers, but that's the shelf. Right here, we have my L. Kennedy books. I do still want the special editions, y'all. I am trying to talk myself out of it. But we have The Deal, The Mistake, The Score, The Lexi, The Gold. Then we have um, The Grammar Effect, which is... Let me come around a little bit. Hold on. It broke something but anyways the grandma effect which is the daughter of these two betting on you the deal better than the movie when in rome cheat sheet and practice make perfect then my colleen hoover shelf right here and it is double stacked back there so i'm gonna let you just look at that And those are all the books that, well, no, they're not all the books that I own. Because like I told y'all, let me clip this light back the other way. Because like I told y'all, I have books over in my TV stand. But I don't feel like going all the way over there and doing all that. So, yeah, um, when I get another bookshelf, I'll let you guys decorate with me, maybe on live. And we'll actually film a video. But I'm going to go ahead and end today's video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I need to come with the miss I just made. So, yeah. I'm calling bullshit. Say you got it, but you ain't got nothing. Bad bitches don't say shit, they just hustle.